All right, you guys, today we're gonna check out how to make this 3D grungy extruded text here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with this artboard size. Let's go and select the type tool and type in something. Press Control T, press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. By the way, I went with a Dreamboat black font. It's a free Adobe font you can download. And from here, let's go to the font layer, double click on it. Let's go to gradient overlay. Make sure the angle is on 90 degree angles. And the gradient is going to be something light gray. Click OK. And the other part is going to be somewhere around a darker white. Click OK. Click OK. Let's go to the stroke. Activate the stroke. I'm going to decrease the size. Make it nice and thin. Make sure it's outside. And let's go to the field type and change it from color to gradient. And I'm going to move this here. And let's change up the angle to zero. Click on the gradient. And let's change up the colors. I gotta make it a little bit more lighter and the white darker. And I gotta bring the white here. Press and hold Alt to drag the black. This way you can duplicate, click to release and repeat this process until you fill it up. It doesn't need to be perfect, something like that. Click OK and I gotta decrease the size a little bit more like that, seven, click OK. And I gotta bring it down a little bit. I gotta go and collapse the text layer. And from here, press and hold Alt and press the upper arrow. So this is going to create a new duplicate and do it again. Press the upper arrow a lot of times until it's going to create an extrusion. So I'm going to go with 60 copies, 61, and I'm going to exclude the 61. Let's go to 60, scroll down, press and hold shift, select all these layers with the text, press control G to group, and I'm going to rename it as extrude. There you go. Now I'm going to go and double click on the text layer. Let's go to the stroke and I'm going to change up the gradient to color. And I'm going to go to the position, change it to center. Let's increase the size. Click OK. From here, let's go and double click on the extrude folder. Let's go to the stroke. I'm going to change up the color of the stroke and I'm going to choose this one right here. Click OK. And we're going to go to the position and change it to outside. Let's click OK. I also got to go with the layer with the text, double click. And I'm going to make the gradient overlay a little bit darker here with the black side. There you go. Click OK. Now I'm going to need to add grain on the whole surface. So I'm going to press and hold Alt and let's click on the plus to create a new layer. This window is going to pop up. Let's change up the mode to overlay. Make sure to check fill with overlay and neutral color 50% gray. Rename it as noise. Click OK. Right click on the layer. Convert to smart object. And now we're going to go to the filter. Let's go to noise, add noise, make sure it's on monochrome. I'm going to go with 27 ish, click OK. And now we're going to go to the adjustments, scroll down and let's go to the threshold and select it. And here you can pull this handle left or right in order to customize it better. As you can see, this area is too light. So I'm going to go back to the layer with the text, double click, go to the gradient overlay and make it darker a little bit more. There you go. Now this starts to look promising. Click OK and click OK. From here, we're going to need to select all the layers. Let's select the top one, press and hold shift and go all the way to the background layer, right click. Let's go and select convert smart object. And now we're going to go to the filter, filter gallery. And here we're going to go to texture, select the grain. I'm going to go with these options. Let's go down, click on the plus. Let's go to the sketch, select the graphic pen. Stroke length, I'm going to decrease it to two. I'm going to also decrease the light dark balance. And I'm going to go down, click on the plus, And let's go and select torn edges. I'm going to go to image balance, decrease it to 15. I'm going to go and increase the smoothness a little bit more and decrease the contrast until you're going to find the right balance. And let's click OK. I also got to go to the filter, noise, add noise, make sure it's a monochrome. I got to go with 27, click OK. And there you go. And this is how you make this really cool looking a retro 3D extruded text effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.